Dmitry played second in command for a part of the Russian Mafia. When he had the opportunity to take over, he did it. We all know how it ends for Dmitry, but it's deeper than Nico getting his revenge. Years before the events of GTA 4, him and Mikhail Faustin would find a loophole to live in America, leading them to set up their operation in Liberty City. Before this decision, they partake in more smaller things, but in America they would partake in extortion and drug trafficking. The organization would gain power and money, so much to the point that Mikhail would later buy to own a cabaret for his organization and for the people in the community. Even though Mikhail is the main leader, Dimitri still had influence in the organization as well, but doesn't have the same wit criminal-wise. For a long time, things would be uniform until their enforcer Vlad is killed. Although Vlad's body was never found, Dimitri will have his henchmen look for who's responsible to when they track down who we know to be Nico. Dimitri's boss would spare Nico in exchange, he would be forced to work for them as a hitman. Here we start to see Dimitri's plan start to unfold. Nico would be accompanied by Dimitri to collect protection money to when he applies that foster from the time they came to Liberty City up until this point, he's far gone. Dimitri even goes to say that he was a good guy, showing that Dimitri is starting to resent Faustin. He also manipulates Nico by saying that they are friends. It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. It looks like I need to protect myself and my cousin in this place. Do not fear. You no longer need to protect yourself from myself and Mikhail. We are your friends. Great. Later, Faustin will have Nico kill someone that he suspects to be an informant, which we find out later to be Kenny Spetrovic's son. Dimitri would tell Faustin not to have Nico do this. People feel as if he was pinned on the act here, but if you ask me, he says that to say to Faustin that he will betray him being that at this point it will force Dimitri's hand to do what he's been wanting to do. And the way Dimitri tries to spare Faustin at this point. Head up there and call me. Me personally, when you get there. Mikhail, please don't do this. Shut up. I, shut the fuck up. I'm begging I you. Said, shut the fuck please up. Please don't Go. do this. Why don't you You listen? want to play games? This hey, is not a, a game. You stop. have to play I by said, the stop. rules. Dimitri will get a call from Nico on his way to kill Lenny. He asked Dimitri if he should do this, with Dimitri respond saying this. Dimitri, should I do this? Should I kill this boy for Mr. Faustin? Just one second, Mikhail. It's nobody. I cannot talk just now. Do what you have to do. He will tell Nico this being that he can still keep Nico around, and that if Nico doesn't kill Lenny, it will cause Faustin to try to get rid of Nico. Nico being in the blind, he kills Lenny, finding out later that he's indeed the son of a powerful organization. Now that Lenny is dead, Faustin will have Nico demolish part of Kenny's Petrovic export ring. This will make Nico angry for the fact that he didn't know exactly what he was doing until he calls Faustin, making Nico feel that Dimitri was right about his boss. After this, Dimitri will seek Petrovic, making a deal to kill Faustin as a form of damage control. He will have Nico meet up with him when he will ask Nico this. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? They will have a small debate on what's right in this situation they're in. With Dimitri having a rebuttal after everything Nico says, Nico will bring Faustin back up to when Dimitri is forced to agree, being that he is trying to manipulate Nico. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. He would lie to Nico, telling him that Kenny Petrovic would spare him if Nico himself was the one to kill Faustin. Notice how Dimitri only says Nico and not the two would be spared, making this a lie. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes. That's the way it is. Nico would then get infos on Faustin's whereabouts, but before the two disperse, Dimitri would say this. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. I 
Although he's right, he's making himself seem like he doesn't benefit from killing Faustin. But in reality, this is what he's been waiting for. Faustin being more reckless, Dimitri knew it was only a matter of time something like this would come up. Nico killing Vlad made this happen faster. Nico would then arrive at Faustin's club confronting Faustin. With Nico being manipulated by Dimitri on top of his own disdain toward Faustin, it would make him come off blind, making Faustin tell the truth about things. Nico Bellic, you and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over. You brought this on yourself. You pushed things too far. You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri, my brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen. Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Faustin will tell Nico while he's escaping that Dimitri will later betray Nico as well. Faustin will also say how America made Dimitri greedy. America made him greedy! Dimitri will turn on you as well! You shall discover this! I am a man of convictions! I have only done what I believe! None of you will survive in this country without me! This American greed takes everyone! It's like a disease! Only I am still safe! After killing Faustin for Dimitri, Nico later caused Dimitri to receive money from his doings, but money was never mentioned, this being a bad move on Nico's end. Dimitri will have Nico meet him. Dimitri, you got my money? I have it. Meet me at the warehouse on Maganet in downtown Broker. Come along. During all this, Dimitri will ally with wealthy human trafficker Ray Bulgarin. Nico's name get brought up to when Dimitri gets informed about Nico's past. They would then try to set Nico up trying to kill him. This is Dimitri trying to do a favor for his new business partner, on top of Dimitri no longer needing Nico. You got the money? Sure. And I just wanted to check something with you. You are... Nico Bellic, correct? What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up. You left a good friend of mine out of pocket. Big time. Hello, Nico. At this point, Dimitri doesn't know that Nico survives, being that he fled with Bulgarin, but he would take this opportunity to burn his cousin's cab business in their apartment. Dimitri would then return to the rendezvous to when he doesn't see Nico's body. He would then call Nico. At this point, he is power drunk, vowing to find and kill Nico. Nico Bellic, we did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. You think I could survive? in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You know no more of loyalty than I do. You know why I killed Faustin? It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico. Another thing to add is that after Faustin's death, he would leave Faustin's family to fend for theirself. I was, uh... Sorry to hear about your husband. Were you? Maybe. Unlike that treacherous rat Dimitri. He and I are not friends. My husband was not perfect. In many ways, the world is better off without him. But now I am wrong. And now the money is gone, the house got repossessed, and we are living in a one-room apartment. The land of opportunity. I'd rather be back in Russia. Later he would get into importing cocaine and heroin into Liberty City, becoming a well-known supplier. He would continue to gain connections all through the city, even associating with the Ancelottis. But he would still make it his duty to be on the hunt for Nico. At this point, Dimitri would start to become obsessed wanting Nico dead. Down the line, he would use his power to have Roman Bellic kidnapped. He would forward Nico a picture of Roman at gunpoint, knowing Nico would go to get him. But this attempt will fail, making this the second time Dimitri tries to have Nico killed. This is Roman Bellic? <laughs> Not such a tough guy, eh? What is all this fuss about his cousin? Later, Dimitri will start to extort Deputy Mayor Bryce Dawkins, not to have a career ending information on Bryce. This will be another failed attempt, being that Nico stops this. Dimitri Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. 
fucking Dimitri. After Dimitri finds out Nico was involved, he will call him to antagonize him. He will even try to have Nico work with him again. At this point, Dimitri is still saying and doing anything to get Nico in his presence. Nico Bellic. What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bryce Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give us the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. After Nico and his accomplice Patrick would kidnap Giovanni Ancelotti's daughter, they would return her in exchange of diamonds. Dimitri being connected with the Ancelotti's and Ray Bulgarin, he would find out that again Nico was involved. He would go to find his body to when he doesn't, making him call Nico. This time around, he's starting to lose his cool. You love to disappoint me, Nico Pellick. You really do. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along. I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri, and the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Later, Dimitri down the line would be the supplier of a deal about to take place, with him now associating with the Pecorinos. If you choose the non-canon ending, Nico would agree to help, but he would leave Nico in a situation leaning on that Nico would die. But he survives, leading him to try to have Nico assassinated at his cousin's wedding. But this doesn't work out either, being that Roman dies instead. Nico, Yes? Okay, thank you. A gift from Dimitri Raskolov. After this, he would kill Pegarino, making him have no one left to backstab. What's the problem? Me and you's partners now. We're back on top. I didn't work this hard to share the spoils of a victory. Goodbye. Nico would then chase down and kill Dimitri. Nico would break down all that took place, and that can be the end for Dimitri. You're a strange man. You killed your best friend. You betrayed everyone who ever came in contact with you. You killed my cousin. I guess the survival of the fittest thing really meant a lot to you. Now the cannon ended, Nico would find out Demetrius and Broker getting ready to ship the heroin. They would get into a shootout. After killing Demetrius Hitchman, Dimitri would try to talk his way out of his demise, but he can't use his words to get him out of this this time. About to learn a lesson. Actions have consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. Shame that'll be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Bless you, opponent. I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. It was a long time ago that I pissed you off. Forget about it. Nico, it's not too late. We can work this out. I didn't mean nothing. Please. It was never my idea to set you up. You don't need to do this. You're fucking a lot of people over by killing me. Hey, come on. We got history. Think about Pegorino. He's got nothing without to steal. Don't do it. I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. Dimitri wanted Nico dead made him sloppy. If he would have stopped pursuing Nico early on, he'd probably still be alive with him being forked tongue. Coming to America made Dimitri greedy and willing to snake anyone to get to where he wanted to be, leading up to his demise.